I have to buy a foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush, highlighter, eyeshadow, mascara, and lip product. The boyfriend is buying my makeup today in Sephora, and it's the start of the VIB Rouge sale, which means it's about to be an absolute madhouse, so we're gonna Basically watch- Basically pray for me. <laughs> we're gonna watch him struggle through this, and it'll be interesting to see what he picks. Right, what are the rules? So there are a few rules to this little game. What are the ground rules? One, I cannot give my opinion. All right. I cannot direct him towards a product. I cannot sway him. I cannot suggest something. Okay. I can't tell him it's the wrong color. He's going to be quiet. I mean, I won't be totally quiet, but I'm, the point is I'm not supposed to sway you. Uh, and the second thing is you can ask for help from an employee. Okay. If you need it. All right. I don't need help. I got this. I got this. Okay. I gotta get my shopping bag, right? <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's begin. What's first on your list? Whatever I find first. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just walking into the nearest aisle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I just like look around? I mean, I guess not. Fine, do whatever you want. It's, I shouldn't, I'm not supposed to talk. Looks good. How do I acquire this? <laughs> Did you ask how you acquire it? <laughs> like you like it? Yeah. The, <laughs> the boxes are back there. Okay. <laughs> how much did you draw on yourself? <laughs> A little too much. Oh my god. What are you doing? <laughs> are you thinking that you went too soon? Uh, maybe I went too soon. Look at all these colors. But this gives fuller lips. I like fuller lips. Okay. <laughs> If you like my lips fuller. <laughs> this place is really big. Are you getting freaked out? Yeah, this is got going to Ikea. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Yeah. Yeah, that works. Is that how you're matching me? Yeah. Oh. What do you do with this? You highlight. What does that mean? Like you put it on the high points of your face, so it's like shiny. Oh. Literally, look at your hand. Again. Look at your hand. How do I get rid of this? I think he's lost. <laughs> he's starting to get stressed out. <laughs> okay, we're back at Benefit because apparently, apparently that's where he likes to shop. Are you gonna buy everything at Benefit? <laughs> well, I like it because it, it labels what everything is. What color is that? No more. What, which one's that? I would this one. What's blush? It goes on your, it goes right here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I want you to have pink blush. Pink cheeks? Yeah, pink Okay. Okay, he's back to this highlighter. <laughs> he, he came back. Look at all these tubes that you're getting confused <laughs> over. <laughs> is this mascara? Some of it is, yeah. It all goes on your eyelashes. Givenchy, let's get raunchy. <laughs> wow. I don't get how you girls decide what suits you. Like, it, to me, it's all the same. Like, all the colors look the same to you. Yeah, like, how do you just come here and decide, like, what brand or what... Well, the colors look different, but, like, even, like, the different shades look very similar. Then how do you know how... Do you, like, do you try it on you? Yes. Okay, it's very complicated. <laughs> Into the night he goes. <laughs> Okay, so we're back from shopping and he managed to pick out a whole face worth of makeup. So I did give him a shopping list and on that shopping list, I made sure that he had to pick out um, foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush, highlighter, an eyeshadow or eyeshadow palette of some kind and then a lip product. Um, I did not ask him to pick out primers mostly because I feel like I kind of have that covered and I don't necessarily think that was like worth the expense having him pick out primers. And then I also did not have him get like brushes or tools or anything because I have all that stuff. So I really just wanted to do this because I thought it would be interesting to see what a guy picks out when he goes into Sephora because us as women, when we go and pick out makeup, I know all of the hyped up products and I know all of the stuff that's just launched or just released, um, all of that. 
and it's really interesting to see what somebody with like a fresh perspective would go in and buy. Not to mention, he looked like he was freaking out and that was endlessly entertaining for me. I think he's like washing a pan and it's very loud. He managed to pick out a whole bag full of goodies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do a full face of the makeup that he bought um, and we'll see what I like and what I don't <laughs> because I feel like some of the stuff he got might not have been my color. For foundation, he picked out a foundation I have never heard of or used. Um, he picked out the Kat Von D Locket foundation. So there's a couple things about this. One, he didn't shade match me, so he eyeballed it. And two, it looks like this is like a matte full coverage kind of situation. And if you've been following me for like two seconds, almost everything I wear is like tinted moisturizer status. I don't exactly do full face. How the hell do you open this? Okay, well, anyway, I don't typically do a full face of makeup, so, or like full coverage is what I mean. So he picked out the shade Light Cool. We'll give it a whirl. I have a wet beauty blender here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. Okay, it's got like a pump style, which is interesting. Oh, that might actually be my color. I think he eyeballed the shade pretty well. Okay, it's very matte. Very, very matte. I don't particularly like matte, because I have dry skin. Yeah, it's pretty freaking matte. It's looking pretty shiny with these lights, but it's not, just to say that, it's really not. I feel like on camera it's coming off like very glowy, but it's really very matte. He actually did really well with the shade. 24 hour wear full coverage. Okay, I made him pick me up a concealer. I didn't even tell him to pick this one out, you guys. He went to the Too Faced Born in This Way concealer all by himself. Um, I've always wanted to try this concealer and for whatever reason just never have, but I don't think this is my shade. So he picked Light Cool out of Kat Von D and then he picked Light Nude out of the Too Faced concealer. So, I don't know. Whoa. I don't know, dude. Ooh, I really, oh, I don't know about that. Okay. Okay. Take that in with the beauty blender. Uh, okay. It blends out in like a not so horrible way, but it's pretty yellow. Okay, that's actually not, it blended out, okay. It blends out fine, but it's too yellow. I don't think this is my shade. Okay, I'm also noticing that things are like caking. This is exactly why I don't like to wear full coverage items because shit just cakes. Yeah, you guys, you can tell that it's the absolute wrong color. I don't know, I don't know about this concealer. Maybe I would like it if it was my actual shade, but and it, I mean, it covered my under eyes, I'll give it that, but I don't know that it covered it like any better than like my Benefit Boing is it called Boing now? It might be called something else. That Benefit concealer? So like, I don't know that this did like any better than this did. So if I already own something, I don't know. And then when he went, so I think he kind of cheated a little bit. I'm just gonna keep it real. He would like gravitate towards a counter at a time or like a station at a time in Sephora. And I think it was just like out of convenience or ease. So basically like he would start at Benefit and grab a couple of things at Benefit. And then he went to like NARS and would grab a couple of things at NARS. And then he went to Too Faced and grab a couple of things at Too Faced. So there was like a little cheating that happened that way. But anyway, when he went to NARS, he did pick out the Laguna bronzer, which I already owned. So rather than like buying another one, I just, this is what he picked. 100% this is what he picked. But we're just gonna use the one that I have at home. I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. stipple brush on Laguna, El Laguna. And Laguna. He made a good pick here. I already know I like Laguna. Um, I also didn't have him get a brow pencil because my microblading is like on the very tail end of healing. I really just don't wanna, I don't wanna be drawing color in there and then have to like scrub it off later and then accidentally scrub off some of my microblading. Yeah, it looks like I'm really shiny on camera, you guys, which is bad. I do have my professional lights on though, so. Okay, so like I said, he cheated a little bit. He picked out blush from NARS as well, which I'm cool with. I like all of the NARS blushes. Um, I really, I only own Orgasm and Super Orgasm right now. 
um, but I know the quality of NARS blushes are really good. So he picked out one that's called Amour. Amour. It's like a deep rose shade almost. You can see that. What if I turn down my lights, you guys? If I turn it, do you think that would like, I don't know, it's still looking really glowy on camera and it's just not that glowy in person. Too much. And then he picked out a Too Faced highlighter, actually. And this is the Candlelight Glow Highlighting Powder Duo. I do not know. Um, I've actually looked at this a couple of times, but never ended up buying it. Just because I don't know that I was convinced. It looks like this. I feel like there are just so many hyped highlighters out there that if it's not on the hyped list, we always just assume it's bad. So I'm kind of excited that he picked it up. And it comes with like two different shades. So it has like a warmer shade and then like a champagne shade. I'm actually just gonna mix them and then just apply it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Highlighter ain't no joke. Ain't no joke. I actually really like this highlighter. Everything is looking five times as blinding on camera as it is in real life. He got me for eyeshadow their real duo shadow blender. I've literally never heard of this. <laughs> he picked out at Benefit all of the items with sexy names. So this one is called Sexy Smokin. Oh shit just fell out. Okay. This is what the eyeshadow looks like, which I'm actually really into. Those are definitely colors I would wear but it comes with like this little thing. I did already open this and play with it because I was very confused, but it comes with this little nubbin. And in theory, you're supposed to be able to like swipe it like this and then do one swipe on the eye. Um, I don't really think that's like a thing. Like, I don't think that's gonna turn out very well. So I think I'm just gonna use a regular brush. <laughs> I'm just gonna prime the eye with my Smashbox. Prime it away. Then you take it and you just go Ooh, ooh, it's very, ooh, that didn't go well. Oh no. It like crumbled apart and now it's only got one color on here. I don't think we can do that, you guys. That's not a good, that's not a good idea. But to be fair, I'll try and mimic what it wants you to do. It wants you to put the darker color closer to the lash line and then the lighter color on top. So I will mimic that. Does it look like I've been punched in the eye? Does it look like I have been punched in the eye? Yeah. I don't know about that one. So here's the thing. Basically, if that little spongy thing does not work to apply, I don't know that there's a good way to get at these shadows because they're very narrow. Like if you look at the way they're laid out, they're so narrow that grabbing only the color you want is really hard. Dude, this looks horrible. No, oh, it's pretty bad, it's pretty bad. Um, I also didn't have him get eyeliner because I'm not wearing eyeliner right now. Mascara only. So we'll apply some mascara. Um, for mascara, he picked up a Lancome one, but I've never heard of this one. Doll lashes. Hypnose, hip, hypnose, doll lashes in shade black. Okay, he got black, that's good. Okay, this is what the tube looks like. Put on some mascara. The f what the hell is that? Ugh. I hate when mascaras put weird shaped wands like this, I really do, because I just, the amount of time and effort it's gonna take to get this right, I just feel like I have better things to do with my time, you know? I'm assuming the idea is that the fatter part is gonna wing out the outer edge better and the narrow part is gonna get up into the inner corner. I don't think this is like anything special. I think it's like fine. Like if I was stuck on a desert island, what mascara would I bring? I feel like it would be the Too Faced Better Than Sex or the Lancome Monsieur Big. I have pretty long lashes and it's definitely like, it gives me length and it gives me darkness, but I don't necessarily think it gives me like fullness. I'm not hitting the shadow as much anymore though, now that there's some mascara. Sexy smoking. I'm lukewarm on that. I think it's fine. 
But I also wonder how much that cost. That would be my next question. Like how much was that? It looks like I already threw out the receipt, which is not smart. Okay, and then the last product he got me was a lip product. He got me a Benefit lipstick. And again, I've just, I've never heard or tried of any of these. It's the double the lip, fuller looking lips in one easy step. And it's supposed to have a liner and a lipstick in one. Um, let's open it up. And he got a shade called Lusty Rose. So it looks like this, which is kind of like their um, mascara tube. And then, so if you can see there, it has the liner on top and then the color on the bottom. So we're not gonna use a liner, we're just gonna do this. Again, I cheated a little bit. I did wear this to dinner last night and I'm kind of, I actually like the formula. Like it feels good. It's like soft, I'm not drying in any way. So that's it guys, that's the full look. I think there's really unfortunate things happening with the skin, but we'll, we'll call him in and see what he thinks about it. Hello. Pretty good. <laughs> Come say hi to the people. Oh, what's up, people? What do you think of it? How do you really think it looks? I thought it looks good. I don't think that they these things go together. What do you mean? I just feel like I looked really, I looked really washed out. And like the foundation is kind of weird. You don't think so? And the eyeshadow? I kind of think I look like a hooker. Tell the people how much you love your cat. I love my cat. <laughs> I love my kitty cat. Is she your baby? She's my baby. Yeah. Look at her little feet. Look at her little bunny feet. Yeah, I think I have to take this look off. What? I think I just, there's parts of it that don't go well together. So for example, I think the eyeshadow is pretty wonk. I'll probably keep it on, but I'm into it. You like the lipstick or are you taking it off? I don't like it with this look. Even though I like the lipstick, I don't like it with this look. It's almost like it's like, it's like the, the same freaking shade as the blush. I think you're tripping. You don't know much about makeup. I don't know much about makeup. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna give him a grade in the comments below. You're gonna subscribe to my channel to become part of the fam. And we'll catch you next time. I have to go walk out in public with this face on. <laughs> it's a great face. Thank you. Bye guys. Do you think I'm pretty? Really? On a scale of one to 10, how pretty am I? It's a solid answer. <laughs>